Welcome to Window Shopping with Car and Driver. This is our 17th episode, and this week we have decided to get in on a little bit of overlanding. So we're looking at four by four vehicles, off-road vehicles, and we set ourselves a budget of $10,000. So we will see what, um, what we found. This week we're joined by Jonathan Ramsey, who's a contributor to Car and Driver, and Casey Colwell, me, Drew Dorian, and Connor Hoffman, who are regular staffers. So Drew Dorian will kick it off. What have you brought us, uh, Drew? Well, I've got something a little weird, which is on brand for me. Um, overlanding is not something that is really kind of in my wheelhouse. So I thought I would go a little bit crazy with it. And I found this cool, oops, hold on. I have an issue with my Zoom. This cool Toyota Town Ace van. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Um, it is four-wheel drive, so I think you could probably take it off-roading. Uh, it's diesel. And it's Where is it? It appears is it be... in the bottom of the lake? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's maybe right there, but the thing is just off a little bit. Sure. What part of the country is that? The Bay Area. Oh. So, but I think this is really weird and cool and JDM. It's and. Cool. Uh, it's got a couple of little surprises. Look, the back seats already fold down into a bed. So I don't really have to do much customization, although it does look a little lumpy. Not um, a lot of miles. Could, this could currently be an Airbnb in San Francisco, too. <laughs> or someone's permanent residence. Yeah. <laughs> What's the true mileage on it? Is it 74 or 500 or? Uh, I think because it's imported from Japan, it's right. in kilometers. Oh, so it's in kilometers, but they've, they've done the conversion to miles. Right, right. But I think a, a, like one of those like tufted and needle beds would just plop right in perfectly right on that. So. I kind of love it. It's like a cool alternative to a Delica. Yeah. yeah. No, it is really cool. It also reminds me of the of the van from Tango with Cash. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen that? I mean, it's like this, you know, horribly I great. Seen that since you know. 1990. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it's cool. It's very cool. It's pretty neat, and I like that it's four-wheel drive. That means, you know, if you want to take it off-roading, you really can. It looks like you've got to lock your own hubs, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, the fa My favorite part of it, though, is this badging on the back. I don't know if you can tell what it says. Okay, there it says Town Ace, but on the other side, it says Super Extra. Which <laughs> oh, yeah. I have been called Super Extra, so I think this is perfect for me. Can you zoom in on that? Can you make that, can you magnify it? Oh, yes, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so you mentioned that it's sort of um, kind of like a Delica, and I did find one of those, too. Nice. The, Toy the Toyota's a little bit above budget. Maybe. Oh, yeah, but not too much. That's Craigslist. You can definitely negotiate your way down. Yeah. But How here's much do oh, sorry, go ahead. $10,000 budget, and uh, this one is in uh, Colorado, I think. It's not in a lake. Hound's tooth interior. Oh, that's awesome. Still a manual, still JDM, and very cool. That's really cool. Those are both cool. Do you know how big is that? How big is that Toyota? I don't I know. I have no it idea how big, small. like just like size reference. I mean, it looks like maybe right around the roughly the same size as the Delica. You know, they, they all have these like really goofy looking short wheelbases and these oh, long, sure. long, you know, front and rear hangovers, but I kind of think it's neat. I would think, Casey, it's smaller than the Toyota van that they imported here. If those seats are all yeah. folded down, do you think I could sleep in the back? I don't know. You're like, what, eight foot two? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I think he's eight foot four with that hair right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to put your feet on the dashboard and your head at the very back. <laughs> yeah. We could maybe put you on the roof. Yeah. Give me a, give me a nice large rooftop tent. Yeah, yeah. Let's see that Delica. Anyway, more. Yeah, go back to the Delica, sorry. The Delica has the Hound's Tooth seats, which I think are really quite classy. That is cool. How many miles are on it? 91,000, not a ton of miles. Yeah, but I'm not sure if 91,000 kilometers or miles. Oh, yeah, right. He says miles down here. But... Miles, yeah. Cool. But, I mean, it is, it is called Star Wagon, which I think- Star Wagon, is, cool. Uh, yeah. Because that's where the stars came. 
because it's super extra, right? If you had them both on the trail at the same time, <laughs> both <laughs> might happen. Yeah, that's neat. It's cool. Yeah, super short wheelbases, which is good for off-roading and good for maneuverability. Cool. Yeah. Thank you, Drew. Yeah. Uh, Jonathan, you are up next. Let's see what you have brought us. All right. So I, I thought I was supposed to get more than, uh, oh, let's try sharing. Um, all right. So can you uh, see this gentleman? <laughs> Oh wow! Uh, okay, so that's for extra. I th I thought for sure somebody was going to pick the Toyota Land Cruiser. Apparently, no one did. Um, but I think the FJ60. I prefer the FJ80. The problem with the 60 is people want a fortune for them, and this guy owns all of them. And I, <laughs> I respect his mojo. And like, there's no info on the truck. It's just very sexy, and you can make him an offer for whatever you think it's worth. Um, can you zoom? Can you zoom in on this a little? See, I don't. Know. Oh, what? Good. This is a family show. <laughs> yeah, I don't think, but if you look at the photos, like this guy, look at that. That is a superhero pose. <laughs> he is selling himself. Not are there other pro. photos? Of yeah. What are the other photos? Oh, the other other photos. photos. oh yeah. Can you see that? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, that's his Black Widow. Come oh, get it. <laughs> um, uh, and then. Uh, where yeah. does this gentleman live? <laughs> you know, it doesn't even say. <laughs> like this guy's like, it find me if you want me in my truck. There's uh, hosing it down. It takes uh, a good it. And uh, ta-da. Oh my cool. God. But every FJ60 and FJ62, which is one of the square headlights, is owned by this guy or one of his brethren. and. <laughs> They want a fortune for them. Um, How much do they go for? Oops. They go for, uh, well, like I said, this, whoever, this, I mean, that's 15 grand. Like, Oh, is this one of his? On. I see no, a lot of money trailers going for over 20K. Exactly. And if you're, if you're uh, what, that one's 15. Um, yeah, there are a bunch of them. They go from literally 15 to 50. Right. How much There's an LS swapped one on uh, Bring a Trailer right now. That would be a good idea because these are so slow. That inline six that Toyota was building, I think it had 130 or 140 horsepower for this yeah. vintage. And it yeah. was based on an old Chevy inline six that dated back to like the 50s. Wow. And so like if you, especially, so especially if people have the manuals because you can at least control um, some of those seven horses that you get, but the ones with automatics, even them, they want ridiculous money for them what's that one that's a newer one right oh that's a that's a beautiful one that's an f100 right honor this, this one's right up your alley this is an fj this is an fj80 oh, oh no FJ. sorry fj100 you're right yeah and uh, this is one like i can't believe these folks are selling it for this amount said at 500 bucks they bought it for the kid uh it's apparently been well taken care of and uh, it's in great shape it looks really clean i love yeah. that color. that's such a good color in, and it's in, I mean, it's insane how the condition this is in. Because part of the issue with these trucks is that Toyota engineered them to last 25 years in the third world. So Americans feel like it never needs maintenance. Um, it's true, yeah. Yeah, I was going to get into this when, when I talked about Toyotas, when I talked about my, my Toyota, but uh, apparently the, the durability schedule for the Land Cruiser <laughs> is, is just something insane. Um, oh. that it has to pass like even by Toyota standards yeah it's like never be on a road for like John like Jonathan said like like 25 years or something it it yeah. they have three tiers of building cars they have like Camry's they have their trucks and then they have Land Cruiser which is the top yeah. tier. and it's designed yeah. for that crazy crazy duty cycle well it's like Crown and Land Cruiser are both in like that top <laughs> right like never will go away yeah, yeah. They, these these will outlast the cockroaches um, uh -oh. there's the LX450, which was the same thing, but again, they're hard to find for uh, a decent budget. You can, but then you gotta watch out for them. So the other two quick things I had were the Isuzu Trooper. Now, I like the Trooper 2. Oh, yes. Which, oh, I love the boxiness. I bought one from a Marine 
um, out of 29 palms for $1,000 in <laughs> 2003. It was in 86. He had, he had 17 years of paperwork. Um, it was $1,000, and it was amazing. And I'm sorry I sold it. I am too. Um, uh, this one I found in a junkyard. There's only like two in the country for sale, and this one in Florida for who knows how much, <laughs> who knows what the condition is. But this one is 750 bucks, which I would take right now. You're well under budget. Yeah. <laughs> you got plenty of room to <laughs> plenty of clean that up. Safely, safely under budget here. <laughs> uh, but the other, Jonathan, we said 10,000. <laughs> I'm just, you know, you never know. <laughs> when, uh, people want to haggle, they want to negotiate. So I thought, <laughs> I thought the... Chevrolet, well, it's the commercial utility vehicle, uh, commercial utility cargo vehicle program. So before the Humvee, military said we want a light duty thing that's between like a regular passenger car and a Humvee. Right. That we made these things. Called. What is that website? That's like a GeoCities website. Yeah, uh, Tripod, I think, <laughs> is uh, what this is. But th this guy sells companies. They've already got names. Um, the problem was they were terrible. Red Smith. In the military. So they were like the, the bomb sniffing dog that only ever found like sausage and chocolates. So, <laughs> they, so they, were kicked, they were kicked out. <laughs> yeah. exactly. But they're still good boys. So you can get <laughs> they, They're looking for a loving family. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 6.2 liter Detroit diesel, like, I don't know, 120 horsepower or something. Right, right, right. Oh, right. those are like, those are not even turbocharged, are they? No, no. no. Yeah. Um, but they've got like, you know, 10 bolt rears, I think 308 gears, like heavy duty stuff. You know, this is the, the Rambo, I'm um, a solar operator option. I and love it. Got plenty of How much is that one? Uh, Red Smith is 7,500. Bickley awesome. is 4,500. Um, Ohio Tex is only 2,250. Okay. Did you see one of those square body pickups, a square body pickup with like, 500 miles or something sold on bring a trailer for nearly ninety thousand dollars wow that's well they well they made these in pickup form as well uh like like this guy here and ambulances so um Lord, you need a ladder to get into that thing <laughs> i mean it's the, the midwest they wouldn't have it any other way this guy <laughs> into a mutter but they're great and they'll last you forever and the last one is a do-it-yourself kit. So you pick up a, an Econoline van for like 1500 bucks, <laughs> and then you get your do-it-yourself four-wheel drive conversion Whoa. kit. Whoa! For five grand, six grand, say, you're at 7500 and then you've got your sportsmobile homemade because uh, sportsmobiles cost a fortune. Those are my tools. What a, what a glutton of options here. <laughs> yeah, you're still under budget. You add six grand to that. You could you could add like five of these and you'd be under you budget. Do, yeah, I was gonna say you could do three of them. Well, I, and I, well, I wasn't sure if the ten grand was with the overlanding supplies or if the ten grand was before. It's total. It's total. Ooh. So that Isuzu, you've got ninety two hundred dollars <laughs> <laughs> to play I mean, with. <laughs> uh, but, and that, yeah, like that right there, seven fifty. I really love that the Trooper and the Blazer. I really love those. Yeah. That 6.2 was like indestructible because GM learned some hard lessons from the 5.7 small block diesel, from the Oldsmobile yeah. diesel. So they really went hog wild and crazy and really overbuilt those 6.2s. Yeah, those things, those 6.2s were going into um, military trucks as like recent as like 10 years ago. Were they, were they turbocharged then or still naturally? They happened? might have been turbocharged by yeah. then. It, it went to like, like a 6.5 and then they turbocharged them and yeah. But yeah, they all had their basis in the six two. But like all the all the Humvees you can buy off of like Iron Planet or not Iron. What is it called? I don't know. There's some there's some uh, military auction website where you can you can buy old Humvees and stuff, and it's all that engine. Well, so, cool. Thank you, Jonathan. Anyway. Like all your trucks. You had many. I uh, I like to have options. All right. Uh, unshare screen, and then we will kick it over to Casey Colwell. See what Casey's got. Okay, so um, in in keeping with my brand, uh, I kept it uh, moderately sane um, and stuff that I would actually like go 
overlanding in, and uh, and the first is I found this Via Cross that's, that's oh, over man. budget. This is insane. This is, insane. This these, is I love it. Yeah, Via Crosses are cool. I mean, these are. I mean, this is like legit four wheel drive hardware. Uh, same engine that was basically in that Trooper. They're, you know, I think they're like 215 or 225 horsepower. It doesn't matter how quick they are, uh, but these will go pretty much anywhere. Yeah, this had the 3.5 V6, and they weren't slow. Okay, but where are you going to sleep, though? This thing's not that big. I, yeah, I got a tent. You can get one of those uh, turtleback trailers, those overlanding trailers. Yeah, no, I'm, 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 I got a tent. But, but to, to be under budget, but I did find there's – uh, so this one, they, I mean, A, this car was, I think, this one was like 78,000 miles, so pretty low mileage for a 19-year-old car. Yeah. Um, same year, I mean, I think this is 100 and, how many miles? 160,000 miles, you know, for, for under seven grand. Um, and, uh, so cool looking. Yeah. There were one of these at the, I've seen these at Radwood shows, so you could take it to Radwood, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Overland to Radwood. <laughs> There was an Iron Man edition. Ooh, yeah. Uh, Not Iron Man, the uh, the movie. Iron Man, the triathlon, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, Timex. I think like Timex <laughs> Iron Man. Not, uh... Wait, are you thinking of Demolition Man? No, I'm thinking of Iron Man. Iron Isn't Man. There a movie called Iron Man? Oh, yeah. Not in 1999. Well, no, no, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah. Do they all come with red leather? Because that's, that's kind of racy to me. They all had a, they all, I think they all had a very, yes, I think they did. Um, okay. If it wasn't, but if, if it wasn't yellow, I mean, I think it was a yellow interior as well. Maybe, Oof. yeah. I can't remember. Um, the like interiors I, were funky for sure. I just feel like if I were, if I were deep woods and a dude rolled up in a Viet Cross with a red leather interior and there was no one else around, I'd be like, I, I have to get out of here. <laughs> you'd be like, I, I'm, no, you'd strike your black, you'd strike your black widow pose. <laughs> But yeah. you'd be in a pretty terrifying e econoline van. <laughs> and then you'd be scaring them off. <laughs> but no, see, that guy's not afraid of anything. I'm not afraid to leave. That guy's not afraid of anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's worrisome. And look at that. Is, what kind of wing is that? What kind of spoiler is that? Factory. Wow. The non-functional one. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's clearly aesthetic. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I've always thought these were cool. They were, they were, they had uh, just just a, a fancy four wheel drive system, and and they pretty much will go anywhere, and they look uh, about as funky as they get as yeah. possible. Um, but and also, I went down. Um, oh I went down, yes, I went down the Land Cruiser. Yeah. Um, Land Cruiser That's Highway. Cool. Uh, these things are just awesome. Yeah, um, this looks like it's in good shape. Yeah, it's, 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 again, like, this is, again, like, it's 230,000 miles it's in Detroit. Um, and, uh, huh? It's How much? 60, 67 grand. Whoa, how many miles? 230. That's, not, that's a good price. Yeah. That's, I I, so, I the, so that's according to car market. gurus, it's a high price, but. I don't I, believe that. I mean, I, not out that here. I mean, at least in California, these are worth a lot, even with 200,000 yeah. miles on them. Yeah, so it's it, and and I thought this one was uh it was pretty clean. There's only the only alarming thing is there's only one image of the interior, but um who wait. Oh man. Look it's an yeah, okay. So that's, that's no problem. But the I mean other, it, the other alarming thing is that it's for sale at a used car lot in Detroit. Yeah. Well I mean you can see you can see like the steering wheels pretty banged up. Who knows what's going on in the rear seat. <laughs> uh, but but usually these I mean all these all the leather especially on the bolster is toast, um, but uh, but yeah so I thought this was just a, a pretty good find again not not that exciting we've already kind of covered what makes um, F one hundred so cool but uh, yeah I still want to get one of these. I well, I was going to say do you do you prefer the F one hundred Casey or is that just a great deal you found? It was more just a great deal. It was, I was, I was going, if I, yeah. Uh, uh, what's, uh, what was the, you said you really like the 60. I think I like the 80. I, I like, I like the 80. I yeah, like I think the it, These, yeah, I think cruise, the 100s with the V8, they cruise so much better at like 80 miles an hour at modern freeway speeds than an FJ80. Yeah. That's the only thing, but I love the way the FJ80 looks. I mean, I remember when, when the FJ80 like came out, 
um, I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a huge buzz about that car yeah. and, and dealerships, dealerships were getting like a ton of money over invoice for them. Yeah. And uh, my uncle uh, was living in San Francisco at the time. And I'm pretty sure he like flew to North Dakota to buy one and drive it back um, because uh, it was the only way he could find one. They're still, I mean, even good FJ100s and FJ80s are still in really high demand. People, the people that want them really, really want them. Yeah. If you can get one with the, well, they didn't, they stopped in 97, but if you get an FJ80 with the factory lockers, um, like it's, it's easier to buy a SpaceX rocket than, than to find one. Down. Yeah. Yeah. They all, yeah, you could, it was like a G Wagon. You could lock the center diff, the rear diff, and the yeah. front, front diff. Yeah, that's right. So you'd be unstoppable pretty much. Exactly. Yeah, I looked at, I, I found a, um, the Lexus equivalent of this, the LX470 on Craigslist. It was in Beverly Hills, one family owned. I looked at the Carfax. It was serviced at a Lexus dealer, 120,000 miles. I called the guy. He said, come on over and look at it. I called him again. I texted him again and he was like, it's sold. Yeah. Gone. Yeah. In like a day. Yeah. That's how they go. They're cool. But yeah, this would be, I mean, I, you know, you tear the running boards off of it and um, uh, this is uh The fuel economy is the one painful thing about these. <laughs> but gas is cheap right now. So. Yeah. All right, I'm overlanding. Yeah. I'm going to carry a tanker behind me. Anyway, you, so those are my cars. All right. Uh, Connor, my friend, you are up. All right. So I'm kind of on the same... Uh, road as KC where I want to be somewhat reliable, somewhat reasonable. Um, so my first uh, choice is this uh, Tundra. <clears throat> so it's got the uh, uh, 4.7 V8 in it. It's already got some BF Goodrich KO2s on it. Um, it looks like it's in pretty decent condition. It's green, which is my favorite color for these trucks. Uh, it's like Pearly's truck. Pearly has one of these? Pearly I was going to say, is, is, Pearly, is Pearly wearing a Connor skin suit right now? <laughs> Uh, it's got the Bilstein uh, suspension on it, so it's it's lifted a little bit. So we're we're getting there for some some good off roading, and it's only eight thousand. Yeah, big deal. These go forever. Two Pearlies had about this many, may, no more miles than this. I think he was over two hundred thousand. Yeah, my uncle has one of these too, same color, and he's had it for years. Ever and since he I bought he bought a so he bought a two thousand new, loved it so much, he gave it to his son, and then he bought I think an 06, so the last year of this generation with like 40,000 miles, which he absolutely loved. And then somebody crashed it. And I think he's replaced that one too, with another yeah, time. I was, when, in my search too, I was looking for as low miles as I could get, because I know I'm going to be traveling. Like if I were to buy one, I would have it in Michigan and probably come out to like Utah and Colorado all the time. So that's just putting a ton of miles on it. So when you're looking at something like this, that's definitely one of the first things I'm looking for. That's pretty cool. Are, are you a pickup truck guy, Tom? Uh, not necessarily, okay. but uh, this one was just, I just just one just caught my eye and uh, I couldn't not choose it, especially because maybe get one of those like camper things that like sit in the bed too. Then yeah, yeah, you get those. Oh. It, yeah, it has that those like bars that go up on the bed, and then you can yeah, put yeah. the rooftop tent back there, and then you can have all that storage in the bed too, which would be nice. Um, oh no, I meant like one of those like like it's a like camper, a, like a cap, camper, like a camper. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some of those are awesome. Um, yeah. There's a company that makes them where you actually just remove the bed entirely. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. So it's it's basically it's like a, like a you know like a like a truck box you know you'd put on or like a flatbed. So you take the whole bed off and and it's um, right to the frame. Yeah. Okay. I tried to find I tried to find a truck. I have a, I have a I have a I have an old Ram, and I tried to find one um, of similar ilk for this, but I couldn't. It looks like what does he have in the garage? Is that a Hummer H3? No, 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 that's a Cherokee. A Jeep. Yeah. Oh, is it? In yeah, the so that's my first he's, got a, he's got a Wagoneer behind it. Did you see that? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You can see it from. Oh, you can kind of see it from this angle, right here. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. A good what else you got? That's a good find. Uh, you got the Pearly Mobile. Yeah. So I got the Pearly Mobile. We basically have the same last name, so it works. Uh, <laughs> That's only one letter off. Yeah. It's totally pearly in a skin suit case. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my second choice is a GX 470, um, 2007, uh, just under budget. 
Um, this one looks in great condition as well. It's pretty decent low mileage. I was basically looking for under 200 K. Um, Carfax. Does this have the sweet Tenneco, um, the hydraulic, uh, uh, I think it does. Yeah, it does. Those yeah, are cool. Well, height suspension. Uh, yeah, it's like adjustable height, and, and I don't. I don't think it has. It doesn't have any roll bars. It's it's all it's all hydraulic um, roll control and. Oh, like a McLaren. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Um, so yeah, yeah it's it, cool stuff. Yeah, these are awesome. cool. These are cool. These are the Land Cruiser Prado in the rest of the world, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just like uh, just rip the running boards off of these. Get some get some new tires for it, and you're all set. And uh, you got this swing out trunk which is yeah. pretty sweet. Um, yeah. You can put like a camp kitchen back there, put a spare tire on the back and you're all set. These usually have pretty easy lives because they're owned by, you know, wealthy people, wealthy people. Yeah. Cause it's not an inexpensive, it wasn't an inexpensive truck when it was new. It was over $50,000. Yeah. And it's got a V8. So uh, we're uh, in good. I think that's what gives it the advantage over the forerunner, like an equivalent sure. of forerunner. You have yeah, a so forerunner. I, I have a, yeah. I have a 2007 forerunner. I actually have a picture of it all bring it up right here. I have the V6, which is one thing that I wish I didn't have. I wish I would have found a V8. All those TRD uh, wheels are good. Yeah, so um, Are you I, selling uh, this? Do you want to sell it? I do not want to sell it. <laughs> I love this thing. Um, I bought it. It had 75,000 miles on it when I bought it. It's, uh, it was in Ohio, so it's decent condition. It's got a little bit of rust, but not too bad for being a northern car. Um, but yeah, I just, I just had to show it off real quick. <laughs> TRD awesome. wheels. Uh, I was going to do tires first, but I got a great deal on these wheels, which I wanted to get eventually. Tires are coming in the next couple of weeks. Good um, tires. Uh, KO2s. Very nice. Get those on there. Is that, is that lifted? Uh, no, it is not. But I'm planning to do that in the next few years. I'm going to do Bilstein uh, all around. and then that's, that's the rate that comes with uh, that came with that year? Is that? It just looks really jacked up in the back. It's a yeah, two-wheel yeah, two yeah. drive. <laughs> yeah <laughs> um but yeah so uh those are my choices obviously i had to go with the uh toyotas on this uh, i, I love it i just love toyota trucks and uh right up my alley so those are my choices thank you connor uh, all right i'm up next there we, there we go all right i was less concerned with reliability i'm just gonna say that <laughs> um so my picks are you know italian Wow. So let me just share screen. This is the Fiat Campagnola. Oh my God. I love uh, it. It's basically their Jeep, their Land Cruiser, you know, the Italian Jeep, the Italian Land Cruiser. This one was a good read. But yeah, I thought this would be really cool. I couldn't find one in the States. They're pretty rare in the States, but they're pretty plentiful in Europe. This one is somewhere in Europe. Um, it's in Italy. Looks like it's in Parma. They Parma. want 9,000 euros for it. So I'm around budget. I might be a little over, but, uh, but yeah, they, this one I think has a gas engine, the 80 horsepower yep. gas engine. There's also two diesel, tiny little diesel engines, probably not the quickest thing on the road. It's probably like, yeah. <laughs> but you I just need, thought it'd be really cool. You would need to get a Carabinieri uniform to go with. <laughs> There's one of these. If you Sorry, go ahead, Jonathan. And a sword is what you need. <laughs> Tony, that'd be perfect for you because when you're driving around and somebody, if they try to talk to you, you could just kind of mumble something in Spanish <laughs> and it would pass enough for Italian that they'd be like, oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> you could ignore people. There's one of these, there's a red one of these that I think is part of, or maybe it was part of the fire brigade at Fiorano. So it's parked right outside of Ferrari's test track. There's a red, yep. and I've always admired it. Like I've, I've been there a couple of times and I've always been really into staring at it rather than the Ferrari. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but the then, thing that always gets me at Furiano, at Furiano is, uh, is all like the, um, the, the team, like uh, big rigs, like the, the trucks and stuff that they transport all the cars with. Yeah, so I mean, these no. are pretty plentiful. Like, if you look, I mean, the, and this is a pretty good price. And the, the this is the older one. They started building these in '51, and then a refresh came in 1974, which is this one. So they really what early. Year, wait, wait, what year is the one that you that you found? It's a '74 um, or '76, '74, '74, '74. So I wouldn't even have to smog this here in California. I could just import this and drive it and love it. Wow. And, uh, and can, have you the, can you put the old one? What's that? Can you click on the old one? Oh, yeah. Let's look at the old one. Uh-oh. There we go. Oh, man. Those bench seats are sweet. Look at that door. 
I don't know. Look at that rollover <laughs> protection. <laughs> what is <laughs> Wow. Let me see here. It's really cool. Yeah, so it's basically like a, I mean, it's, you know, it's an Italian, uh, it's an Italian um, Land Rover, which probably- Is that hinged at the rear? It, it... <laughs> I don't yeah. know what's going on there. That's really, it's like a suicide door. Well, it's like, it's like a six way door. Like I think the top part, the top part must do something. Oh, like it's a Dutch door? Yeah, it looks like maybe something they fold down. Maybe they fold down like the tops. Yeah. It's like wow. a drive through. The bottom opens, but the top stays closed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, let water out. That's the like one. A, like a Senna. Look at that key. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> What's that's like that? this is that's like that's like the key, that's like what you emulate when you try to learn how to pick locks <laughs> all right all right all right uh oh god how do i get out of here uh now i've done it hang it's, on oh here we go wait uh hit the green the green hit the green one <laughs> green circle yeah oh phew all right. Um, so my next truck is a little newer than that. Um, where is it? Here we go. It is this 1989 La Forza. Magnum. Isn't that an Isuzu though? No. Um, it's a Rate and Fasor version of a Fiat, and I think it did have some Isuzu stuff to it. Like I think the axles might be Isuzu. There are some Isuzu parts. There's some Fiat parts to it. And then this company, uh, La Forza, came in and took the Raiden Fasor Magnum and built a luxury SUV out of it, put a five liter Mustang engine, so the 4.9 out of a Mustang, with thank a little you. bit less power. Yeah, thank you, Casey. <laughs> and, and then they had um, Pininfarina paint and assemble and build them. And it's, it's kind of cool. It's uh, six bolt wheels, like really overbuilt. I think they weighed like 5,000 pounds. They've got yeah. the really cool Maserati. Did an automobile have a long-term one of these? I don't think so. I don't think anybody did. They're so oh. rare. Um, I, thought somebody, I thought somebody did. I thought another magazine had, had a long-term La Forza. And when I learned a, of that, I was really jealous drive. of it. We did a first drive in 89, and then we did a test of one in 98 when they tried to relaunch the brand after it went bankrupt. Um, but the interior has that leather from like the Maserati, the Chrysler's TC by Maserati, the naked oh, yeah. mother skin. Oh, my gosh. And you know, like you're gonna have, you're gonna need a rooftop tent or a trailer because your whole cargo area is gonna be spare parts. Yeah, you can't find them anywhere. Well, so that this one comes with two spare trucks. This one comes with a black La Forza and a white La Forza. Are you, are you, gonna, are you gonna tow those on the trail when you go over <laughs> landing? <laughs> That's the only way. Just, you're just, you, no, it's like it's like when you go hike the Appalachian Trail, you send them ahead. So it's like, it's like uh, five days down the road, you pass your first parts car. And then oh, overlanding, overlanding is supposed to be an adventure. And whether or not you make it back is part of the adventure. Oh, okay. But like, like, a, like a Pontiac Fiero, if you see one, you're probably going to see two other ones. And that's what the La Forza is like, too. There's a shop down the street from where I live, and they have three La Forzas in the parking lot, just sitting there, just rotting. I've seen it. It's true. But yeah, this is like, I mean, this was like an early competitor to the Range Rover because the Range Rover arrived in the States in 87 and these guys saw a gap in the market. They sold for around $45,000 new, which was a lot of money back then. And you could get this really cool- That's a ton of money. You could get this really cool Italian, basically Italian mm -hmm. Range Rover. So basically, most of my picks are kind of like bad <laughs> Italian, bad Italian imitations of British cars. <laughs> Our parts, I mean, so I mean I guess it's it's a it's a Ford V8. So yeah, I mean it's probably pretty easy to keep these things on the road, huh? Yeah, and I think a lot of people do keep them on the road. This is one that I found that um, that RM has. But yeah, you can see the interior. This is definitely within budget. And then this one sold on Bring a Trailer for ten eight. So it's probably you know Bring a Trailer usually has the nicest in the world type stuff. It's got this cool L on the, uh, just like, I like, the, hat. I like the blue leather on this. That, that looks nice. What is that shifter out of? <laughs> uh, it's out of a Ford product. It's a Mustang shifter. Is that, is that, a, is that an automatic Mustang shifter? Right. Yep. And this, the, these, these early ones had the four wheel drive system from a Jeep. 
transmission from a Ford, an engine from you know the the Mustang. So those are my picks. So wow. now we will go to the verdict. Well, no, no. Since um, uh, uh, Connor got to show his car, this is what I really would have picked, which is which is my truck. <laughs> but wait, is that I, your truck? That's yeah. my truck. Yeah. Um, but uh, uh, I couldn't find anything this close to uh, to its condition. Uh, most of these return to the earth. So uh, it's celebrity owned too, Casey. You're bearing the. Uh, the celebrity ownership. Yes, uh, yes, uh, it's uh, yes. It, it was celebrity owned. The thing is, can you can you go anywhere with trees with that? <laughs> I I don't really, I didn't. I mean, I guess we can get into it, Tony. But uh, I no, this was uh, 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 Tiger's. Uh, well, Major League pitcher Jack. Morris. Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer Jack Morris. Yes, yeah. Hall of Fame class of twenty eighteen. Um, but yeah. We don't. Have, we can edit that out. <laughs> what? Isn't that a little wide to go overlanding with? Like anywhere with trees? Yeah, I mean, I, I could rip through the desert with pretty good ease. I think. Um, yeah, those yeah, I mean, I think. What's that? Those prospectors, isn't that what those are called? Those like AUV conversions, those huge rams that people overland with. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's that's yeah. That's like the the elk of this, but well, you're yeah, good anyway. All but right. but yeah, but these these yeah. But it's gorgeous. That's cool. Yeah, if somebody needs to actually try to sell their car on one of these, just put up your listing and don't say that it's your listing. <laughs> <laughs> Joey should have done that with his prelude. <laughs> exactly. And then we, then we just talk it up. <laughs> yeah. Like, wow, that's really great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we come to the part of the show where, um, where we judge each other's cars. So... Um, who went first? Drew, you went first. Which of your uh, picks would you like to put up? The uh, Star I'm Wagon? Gonna go, I'm going to go with my Toyota Town A Super Extra. I'm going to give it a thumbs up based on weirdness. Yes. Thumbs up for the badge. Casey, what do you think? Jonathan, oh, yeah. thumbs yeah. down. Oh, yeah. Thumbs up from That's Casey. Up. That's a first. All right. You got thumbs up from me before. That is crazy okay. stuff that you can't help but give it thumbs up. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> Drew, what did you have a favorite car, Drew? Uh, I mean, I think that one. I'm only I just had that one in the Delica. The Delica seemed ours, like ours, out of ours, not just oh, out of yours. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I did. <laughs> yeah, mine. I, I was my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I have to go with the uh, with your Fiat Jeep thing. Yes. I gotta All go right. With it. All right, I'll take I got it. A soft spot for the Fiat badge, so it wins. All right, uh, Jonathan, which of your beauties do you want us to judge? Um, man, it is close between the uh, Trooper 2 or the Tuck V, but I'm going to go with the Trooper 2. Oh, yeah. 750. <laughs> so it's so well under budget. You, you yeah. left so much. Oh, yeah. You could buy like two yeah. more trucks. I could buy your three La Forzas. <laughs> <laughs> my, uh, my Trooper is what I would do. But yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. That'd be a great car is you get a trooper with a LaForza sourced Ford V8. <laughs> <laughs> or I just, I put the LaForza interior in my Asusa. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> now, now we know everybody loves their own cars, but which of the other ones did you like? Um, uh, that's also close between uh, Casey's uh, Dually and, uh, but I'm going to go with the old Fiat, the brown guy with the Dutch crazy doors oh yeah i didn't yeah. Even present that one but okay i'll take it <laughs> i was uh, shopping on my own in the back <laughs> yeah i saw something else it wasn't on the menu but i know you <laughs> yeah i'll take that one <laughs> all right uh, uh casey you went next right yeah um i mean uh, i i think i gotta i gotta put the 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 v across up there just because oh yeah it's yes. uh it's yeah, so good it's, it's, there are so few yeah. Isuzu's I could have seen on this that I wouldn't have given thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be a, it's just cool. What did you like besides your beautiful cars? Uh, probably the the the, the Delica. Mm. I like the I like the Delica. Delicas are fun. They're cool. Strong. You you sound you sound like you didn't quite want to admit that. <laughs> well, I was torn because, because like, I mean, uh, okay, so I was torn because I, I really wanted to say, like, the, the, 
the the sensible human in me um says you know go to the tundra because that's like by far like mm. the most reliable insane option um but then you also like if i'm buying something like i want it to be fun and delicas are fun yeah exactly <laughs> all right uh connor you're up which of your uh gx or the tundra will you put i'm pretty up? born um but i think i'm gonna go with the gx just because it's a little bigger um and I, I really like that tailgate i'm going yeah that. i remember being on a comparison test with that gx and i was just like this is a real suv and it feels like a real suv and therefore yeah. i really kind of like it yeah what did you what else, what of the other picks what did you like uh, if i had to choose another pick i'd probably go with casey's uh J100. Land cruiser yeah the Land cruiser. yeah yeah uh, one of my favorites, and I want to own one someday, so definitely going to go with that guy. Very on brand for you. Hey, hey, drive down to Detroit, make the guy an offer. Good. <laughs> or hopefully that one I found uh, in, in Indianapolis is still for sale, because that thing was perfect. I found that a couple weeks back. All right, I'm putting up my um, Fiat Campagnola. I'll go, yeah. See. Did anyone get a thumbs down this week? I don't uh, think, we I think so. Yeah. I think it was, it was a lot of fun cars. Yeah, we had a lot of good picks. Can I say I didn't? The I don't need the thumbs down to the GX, but I feel like it's a it's a, a sideways. Yeah, like it's not a sideways. Yeah, okay. I have to give a sideways to the to the GX just because it's like if you like I'm gonna get I'm gonna grab my Dockers and my Polo and my my hamper and I'm gonna go to the picnic area and call that overlanding and then we're gonna have champagne and strawberries uh, and sweat once like three drops of sweat and then head back. Uh, that sounds like you just described a pretty lovely afternoon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I agree that it's a lovely afternoon. It's just, <laughs> I feel like I mean, there's a lot of truck for strawberries and champagne, so it's just there's nothing wrong with it. But for that kind of money, I get a Land Cruiser instead. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of torn between Casey's uh, Land Cruiser and Jonathan's um, the Square Body Blazer, the red. What was it called? Red, red. Red Jack or Red Smith? What was it? Red, Red Smith, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really like that. I, I would definitely rock one of those. All right. Well, that takes us to the end of this episode. And um, thanks for joining us, guys. Thank you, Jonathan. And uh, we'll see you all next week. See you guys. See you.